This is Eric from Longbox Review at longboxreview.wordpress.com, and this is The Gutters, where I talk about whatever I feel like talking about, which may or may not be comics related. So I was hoping to have a new regular episode out this week, but time got a, kind of got away from me because I was, well, one, being lazy, and two, I was... I was preparing to migrate some stuff from my from my very old blog that I never do anything with. It's been my digital space since the I want to say the mid 90s, I think. And I've decided that I will not renew my subscription to my ISP, which means I'll lose that digital space later this summer. So I've been migrating the things that I have on that page, that web page of mine, to my personal WordPress page, which is not the Longbox Review page, it's, an, it's a different one. Uh, and so I've been moving the, the uh, mostly it's a collection of my, of my, my short fiction and some, some essay type stuff. And the, the old uh, GURPS supplement for Highlander that me and Travis created many years ago. So I put all that stuff on kane.wordpress.com. That's Q-A-Y-N-E dot wordpress.com. And that's all up now. So that's what I've been doing this week uh, in the evenings after work. Which is why I didn't put out a new episode, a new regular episode of the Long Box Review Podcast. So what you get is this one. And while doing this migration, I started to think about something. And it also has to do with my daughter a little bit. Because she just graduated a few weeks ago from college. From the University of Idaho, which is where I got my master's degree, which relates to what I'm, just, what I'm going to talk about in just a second. And so I was thinking about her and uh, her, the degree that she received, which was musical, uh, BFA in musical theater, where she focused mo- mostly on the vocal side of things. And so she's, she's developed that talent, she's developed those skills over many years, even before she went to college. And, you know, so she's a performer, you know, she's wor- she, 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 she has art, she, she works at her art. She plays the piano, she sings, she can dance a little bit, which I really, really wish she would do more of. Oh well. Dad can't get everything that she that that he wants out of out of his his kid sometimes. (laughs) Darn kids. But all that got me thinking about uh, that and 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 uh, me migrating my my old fiction onto this new new digital space just got me thinking about my art. You know, I, I, I think I mentioned this on the podcast before, but I used to write stories, short stories specifically. Uh, my, my master's thesis was a collection of short stories set in, a, in a, 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 an original superhero universe. The title of that was Alter Ego, which, which I'm particularly proud of. It was, that's probably the, the best work I've done. Uh, and, and ever since I started writing, which was, uh, I want to say, 1980, 81, maybe as late as 82, I think. I mean, and that first story was horrible, but th- that's beside the point. Anyway, so I used to write, is my point. And somewhere in the last 10 years, I kind of stopped. Not kind of, I did. I've, I've played with it a little bit. There's There's a couple story ideas that... I think are potential novels, and of course I want to do superhero stuff because that's what I love. And that's what I started out doing. I, I think there's a there's a niche, a niche, a niche, whichever word that's supposed to be. I think there's a niche for quality literary type stories set in a with, with a superhero setting that I don't think I've seen yet. Most of the the prose superhero prose that I've read in the past tend to skew towards towards the uh, satirical, 
towards the you know, uh, tongue-in-cheek type stuff, you know, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that, but that's pretty much all I read. I don't re really read serious superhero fiction that isn't, you know, more adventure-based, you know, basically a comic without pictures. Anyway, <laughs> keep going off on these tangents, uh, which I guess is, is it's going to be, that's going to be um, a danger here as I drive as I'm talking. Talking and driving. Don't do it, folks. Unless you're really good at it. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. So I'm thinking about all this stuff and, and about my art and how I don't do it anymore. I, I put a lot of time and energy into a few things. One is I play twice a week. Well, I was anyway. It hasn't been happening lately. But I play twice a week uh, this uh, MMO RPG game called The Secret World with some friends of mine. And so we spend approximately four hours a week uh, playing that game, sometimes a little bit more. You know, and I enjoy it a lot. And then the rest of my time, when I'm not spending time with the family, which I've been doing a lot of recently, just hanging out and watching stuff and you know, it's, this, it's getting to be summer now, so we start to do more things later in the day and outside and all that stuff. So I, I spend less time inside doing these things. And the, these things are, I spend a lot of time working on the Longbox Review blog uh, to prepare posts and, and come up with things to, to, to post there. And then also this, the podcast. There, I also do uh, some videos on occasion. I was experimenting with that a little bit more for a while there and I decided that I much prefer the audio side of things because I can edit it uh, much easier and I have more control over that and so I, I just decided that I would focus more on the podcast uh, and hence that's why you get the gutters now on occasion uh, as well. So I put a lot of time into that and, and I absolutely love that, I, I really do, uh, but I'm starting to wonder about, again, my this art thing and contributing to and this is going to sound really like I'm full of myself but but contributing to society in some uh, some fashion some form so what can I do well I, I can talk about comics but that's that's just that's not really contributing so much to the larger society and and it's just it's just something that I, I keep thinking about you know with my daughter graduating uh, moving moving that stuff over like I said and I'm getting older, obviously, but I'm, I'll be 46 at the end of this year. And I thought that by this time, 20 years ago, I thought at, uh, at this time that I would have at least a few novels published by now. And guess what? I have nothing. I have nothing to show for it. I have, I have a few things that were published uh, in, in these magazines. Uh, this was 10, 15 years ago, so I haven't done anything in over a decade, almost two decades I haven't done anything. And that really bothers me. I think, I think back, you know, or I not think back, but I think ahead and wonder what my daughter and my granddaughters, after I'm dead and gone, you know, what, what, what are they going to think of me? What are, are they going to be, are they going to be proud of me for my accomplishments? Well, what have I accomplished? Uh, besides amassing a bunch of comics that my daughter has no interest in as, as her inheritance. She's told me that. Breaks my heart, anyway. <laughs> uh, besides that, what, what else have I done? Can, can they point to something and say, my dad or my grandfather did that? And I have nothing. And it really bothers me. It's really been bugging me lately. So I, I just wanted to throw that out there. I'm curious, you know, I don't know how old you are to the people that listen to these episodes. You know, do you think about these things? Do you worry about these things? If you're younger, do you worry about those things? I, I really didn't when I was in my 20s. But obviously now I do, so I, I don't know. I don't know. I just, it really, really bugs me that I don't have something to point to to say I, I did this, I accomplished this thing, 
and I, I tend to focus on my writing as, as the vehicle for that. And so I guess, I guess what I'm saying is I, I need to kick myself in the ass and get something done, get some, get some words out there, uh, try to get published again, I guess. Because I do, I do miss writing, just like when I'm not podcasting. I really miss, I really miss it, and I, I wish I could do more. But writing is hard, no matter what anybody tells you. Writing, writing a good story is hard work. Well, at least it is for me. And anybody who I know who is a writer or has done some writing in any long-term sense of the word says, says the same thing. And getting published used to be also hard. But now with the advent of digital publishing, you know, maybe, maybe I should try and get some of that old stuff, clean it up maybe, and maybe get that out there digitally as well, just to get, I don't know. I want to be able, I just want to be able to have something in my hands or on the screen or whatever uh, that people can, can, can enjoy and just say, you know, I don't, I don't know. it's an ego thing. Part of it's an ego thing. I, I, I just want to, to know that, you know, I can, I can go to Amazon or I can, you know, go to, into a bookstore and there's a book with my name on it and uh, I would just be immensely, I hope, immensely proud of that and, and, and more importantly that, that my heirs, my, my, my kids and my grandchildren, my wife, you know, can, can say, you know, my, that Eric accomplished this thing and we're proud of him for it. Wow, this, this really turned into a big uh, ego thing, didn't it? <laughs> anyway, I just, this has just been something that's been on my mind for several weeks now. I think, like I said, it, I think it really started with, with my daughter graduating from college and thinking about, you know, what she's going to do next, especially with, you know, her, 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 her voice talents, her singing, uh, the acting, the dancing, all that stuff that she's, that she's doing or has done, you know, what she's go what is she going to do? I'm so excited for her and I look forward to seeing what she accomplishes. And and then of course, like I said, I, I look at what I what have I accomplished and, and I'm starting to worry about that. I only have another, you know, if you know everything works out health wise and everything else, you know, I've only got a good another twenty or so years, maybe a little bit more. My family history doesn't tend to uh, skew towards really old age, surviving into really old age, so I worry about that. I guess, you know, are, am I making the best of my time on earth while I'm here? Because, you know, once you're gone, you can't do much, can you? Well, this turned into a real downer. I apologize. But I am curious what you think about this. Do you worry about the same thing? Um, do you? What are you doing? How do you, how do you how do you address that? Do you? I, I imagine that the younger generation, and by that I mean anybody who is uh, under the age of thirty, probably doesn't worry so much about these things. Probably because they're out doing stuff. And I guess I just need to do more stuff. So, what are your thoughts on this subject? I'd, I'd love to hear them. Uh, read them either way. Uh, if you'd like, you can leave comments at the blog where this audio thingy is posted. <laughs> That's a professional term, folks. Uh, or you can send email to longboxreview at gmail.com. There's, a, there's a, a myriad other ways that you can get a hold of me. If you go to longboxreview.wordpress.com and click the feedback tab, uh, there are a bunch of other, there's a bunch of other information about how to get a hold of me. Anyway, Thanks for listening, everybody. Bye-bye.